3v3 Angel Gate Blue Team, we have Real Rakar as an Apothecary Support Commander, fights melee by default, can heal Kex alongside as a war boss, breaking stuff already, bashes through cover as you can see there, fights melee, good at support, disruption and damage. Rounding out the blue team we have Bahamut Fury as a Chaos Lord, very tough melee commander, bashes through cover, cannot be suppressed and wants to kill you. Blackjack on the red team as a plague champion, starts off range combat, can be fearsome in melee, corner to support but not the quickest guy getting around. Bruchar as a commander knob, stun bomb misses, sneaky stealth commander, good damage and lots of nasty tricks. Rounding out red team we have Kelly as a force commander with one of the worst colour schemes ever. Offensive melee, pretty versatile, can also support his marines and is running away into a building I think. There we go. Double power points in the southwest corner so this area sees a lot of action early game. Warboss forced off as is the commander knob. Warboss just about got away there. Here come tactical marines from Kelly. The Emperor weeps at this colour scheme. Here comes Sluggers. Nice kill of the week from the Chaos Lord. And a special attack. Sluggers gonna just about get out of here. Matt lose another in retreat. There we go, bang. Demon Sword takes another out. Get away with 12 hit points. Scouts are in the building firing with the bolters. Looks like blue are gonna hold the bottom for now. Sluggers of Kex in a lot of trouble though. When they retreat, they're probably going to lose that squad. And yes, Bruchar lost shooters as well though. Lots of losses early on. And look at this, Kelly loses two tactical marine models off that squad. That's 166 requisition just to reinforce that squad. And scouts lose two models as well. Crazy goings on early game. Bit more peaceful up here, Blackjack capping the northeast VP, which is contested. Both teams have a natural just outside their base, which Real Rakar is capping now. Hasn't gone top yet, heals himself, runs away. This is a big mistake from Rakar, I think. Blackjack having free reign at the top is decapping wreck points and capping them, and gonna decap this power now. And a turret going down from. Blackjack, a nice place to put turrets generally, will suppress and damage infantry pretty well. Here comes Kelly, lost the indicator for the force commander, has armor of alacrity, will boost his speed. Outnumbered here though, here come a bunch of shooter boys, knob leader on the squad and the big shooter. Pretty solid range tier 1 unit now to say the least. Heretics are getting their aspiring champion and waiting around. Our space marines have eternal war for blackjack blackjack not getting a third unit yet hasn't needed to since rakar has put no pressure at all on the top instead they have capped red natural here looters on the field for bruchar set up team that's suppressed with a big nasty death gun devastators for rakar set up covering nothing in particular are they going to push the power or what? Are oh, they waiting for the play champion? No war gear for this guy yet. Commander Knob has stick bombs. Really nice accessory. Can give entire squads if you're lucky. No way to tell how they're going to land when you chuck them though. Of course Commander again isolates himself and needs to retreat. The important thing when playing a melee commander is not to isolate yourself like that. Unless you're a Chaos Lord or a Hive Tyrant or something, and you can take it. Heretics dodge the stick bombs, which is good, since it would have killed everything it touched pretty much. They do have an aspiring champion though, and grenade launchers, so that's 50 power spent on these guys. 493436. And Warboss chasing off Marines. Kelly struggling early on. Double Chaos Space Marines for Bahamut Fury. Blackjack still. Hasn't got a third unit, might be going straight to tier 2 and why not when you've had absolutely no pressure. Even put a node on this power point. Here comes Rakar. Devastator's set up and Blackjack will probably pull back to his turret. Reds have their natural back. 
tier 2 for Rakar and Kelly. Space Marine player is the first to go tier 2. Shooters capping the central wreck point on this huge road leading up to Angel Gate. Rakar is going to chase Blackjack into his own turret. Blackjack, you can see the grenade icon above the Plague Champion there has black grenades. Very nice versus garrisons, of which there are a lot on this map. Commander Nob taking this wreck point. Brute Char goes tier 2. Kex, having lost sluggers, did not get another unit. Here come Flamer Tactical Marines and the Force Commander trying to retake these bottom power. This has triple gens on it, which is a good thing since they lost this one. Shooters coming in from group child, but they're going to be forced off. War boss has no war gear. Usually a commander you see at least get one piece of war gear in tier one. Aspiring champion heretics helping camp the top VP. Rakar must have seen the turret and backed off. Has devastators in this building. is getting a plasma cannon which are a good counter to turret since they can just outrange it and do a lot of damage with each shot. Here comes Bahamut Fury hitting Red's power here. Looks like Blackjack is coming to defend from the looks of the minimap. But Rakar is pressuring at the same time. Is he gonna go? Yes. He's coming to defend. Chaos Lord decapping that power point. Quite an being sneaky but taking a lot of damage and here are Aspiring Champion Heretics in melee with all this stuff. Doom Blast suppresses the entire blob and these heretics will be lucky to get away. Thunderhammer Terminator, Thunderhammer Force Commander, sorry. Killed about two heretics with one swing of this thing. And Bahamut Fury gets away a pretty decent power harass since he decapped. But here are some commandos to cap it. Global ability of the Commander Nob to get them in tier 2. Here come Heretic CSM. Rakkar nicely done with the plasma cannon on those CSM. Looks like he got one hit on the turret as well. Use your chop, sorry. Aiming, what's that used by Shooter Boys? I haven't seen any war boss buffs yet. Here is Kelly with a hideous Razorback going to want missiles on his tactical marines now, Rakar, and is getting one. Plasma Cannon going to take his burner, but there's some sneaky commandos here. They might chuck a burner bomb on this garrison, and there it is. If Rakar doesn't notice that, that's a dead Plasma Cannon. Might even lose these tactical marines, who are standing right on the edge of the burner bomb, and it goes down and loses the Plasma Cannon. That's heavy, heavy losses for Rakar. Has his Sanguine Chainsword and improvement of equipment is level 2. Bahamut Fury getting some Plague Marines. Very tough anti vehicle unit. Turret still sitting pretty. Kelly now has this Razorback blue team who wants to deal with it quickly. And Kex does have some tank busters which will do nicely. Anti vehicle orc unit. Kelly getting some more tactical Marines. Grootshar getting a weird boy. Kex already has one. Sub commander for orcs, disruptive and damaging spells. And there's some stick bombs on those heretics, almost giving the entire squad in fact might still go down, saved by the weird boys artillery attack. 12 hit points across those two models and Commander Nob runs away. Blue team now pushing the top, plague marines very good at taking out turrets. They can be suppressed but they still fire at the same rate like the Plague Champion does, get a missile off and let the galaxy burn from Bahamut Fury finishes the turret. Warp vomit from the Weird Boy and all of this other stuff forcing off Blackjack. Blue team doubling top to retake. Should now cap and then push this power I think. Double Plague Marines for Blackjack. Give him a very durable tier 2 but not much damage output. Other carry chasing off some shooters. 329, 436. 1 to 1 cap. Librarian on the field for Rakar. Has not replaced those tactical marines. 
Understood. Which I think is generally a mistake. Tactical Marines, such a good unit, versatile, tough, and decent damage. Good backbone to your army. Devastators take the building, stick bombs right in their face. Gonna kill at least one model, and there it comes flying out. And the others should get away. Looters suppressing them. There they go. And a zap going down. Blue team. A lot of pressure on the red side of the map, and red completely lose that power thanks to tank busters and double CSM. They have their aspiring champions, but don't have a mark yet. Let the galaxy burn in the face of the looters. Such a great ability, disruption and AOE damage. Okay, scored in melee with the commando knob. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage with his default demon sword. That was a nasty smite though, killing a bunch of orcs. And quite an forced off. Curse Lord needs to be careful. Why is he still chasing? Taking damage. And it's going to die here. And does. A mistake from Bahamut. Librarian now decapping Red Snatchel. Has his forced off. Got a price reduction in 3.19. Curse Lord was revived by the Apothecary's heal. But he's going to die again, I think. Yes. You can revive commanders with heal abilities, though you don't get the XP for it. Librarian runs away. Razorback is still around. Blue team still haven't dealt with this thing. And Kelly getting a Dreadnought out. Warboss still has no war gear. Blue team trying to retake the bottom power. Here comes Blackjack and Bruchar and Scouts die. 329, 344, a double for blue. It's gonna be a 2 to 1 when Reds take their natural back. Razorback sitting pretty. Absolutely no counter to it here. Sniper Scouts must get back in. There's Love the Dakar. Up. Such a great disruption ability. Lost for ages and usually just makes stuff retreat. Blackjack now pushing south. Commandos taking north. Gucci has double commandos. Here is the Dreadnought. An ally, an ally has secured a power node. Will he give it a ranged weapon? It's melee to start off with. Two close combat weapons and inspires a damage buff whenever it kills anything in melee. Red's pushing lose power and they're going to totally lose it because Rakar cannot defend. Devastator Plasma Cannon is going to get a shot off though. And there it is. Burner Bomb goes off from the Commandos and Devastator is taking tons of damage. I don't think Rakar's noticed he does and heals them. But there's Stick Bombs and very lucky not to lose that entire squad. There's a Force Barrier nicely done on those Plague Marines. Librarian should be getting into melee pretty nice in melee when he has that staff of his. Plague Marines pushing. I don't think even they can withstand this amount of firepower and they need to retreat. Here comes the Plague Champion. Can he get a Blight Grenade on that blob? There it goes. Just a bit too short. You see the residue. If he had that residue within the blob, that would have been loads and loads of damage. Shooter Boys are going to take out the Force Commander, are they? Weird Boy does it, which levels the Weird Boy to 2. Got a health reduction in 3.19. Down to 850 from 1000, so it was a pretty big reduction. Here comes Kelly, been using this Razorback pretty well. Now using it to hit Blue's natural power here. Shame on the Blue team for not taking out that Razorback. 273, 328, a 2 to 1 for Red. Kex. And in fact, all of the blue team are tier 3. Rakar has the zeal for Terminators as well. Red team all still tier 2. Razorback still going. Marco Zinch, CSM for Bahamut Fury. And that's all he's got, two of these guys. And Razorback gets away, taking rear armor hits, but none of these guys have anti-vehicle weapons. Devastators 
use Veil of Time to go nowhere in particular. Three commanders dead, Chaos Lord, Force Commander, and the Commando Knob. Tier 3 for Brute Chart and Kelly, and what happened to Kelly's Dreadnought? It's dead somehow, Blackjack has a Chaos Dreadnought, Mark of Corn. Gives it two of those close combat claws and makes it really scary in melee. Splash damage with each hit, as all melee walkers do. Here we have last cannon devastators, but they're not set up, and the dreadnought's going right for them. I think advanced healing from the apothecary for no apparent reason, because none of these ties have taken damage. And there's blood rage, makes the corn dreadnought even more scary. But you lose control of it, which is not a problem here since it's only blue stuff. Here comes Nurgle worshipped Mark of Corn CSM from Blackjack, and they tough out the, the suppression, nice use of worship there, and he's going to lose these Devastators. Corn Dreadnought almost took out the Librarian as well. Curse Lord in amongst this stuff, Tank Busters still around, taking damage over time from the Plague Marines Bolters. What the heck happened to Kelly's Dreadnought? Oh there's the husk of it. just ashamed of its colour scheme and went and died somewhere. 190, 328, 2 to 1 for red, blue team looking quite thin and Kelly is getting a plasma cannon. Curse Lord tanking loads of damage but needs to retreat. Look at these double Marcos Inc CSM tearing through these tactical marines and they're gonna die. They are. Kelly did not notice and they're weighing into the other squad now to level but still taking ridiculous amounts of damage lose their sergeant luckily a weird boy and orcs were around to make those guys retreat commando squad have their knob leader who gets a nice rocket launcher before he had a hammer or an axe or something which is stupid but now gets a rocket launcher commando knob still down is leveling while he's dead level 4 Rakar is level 3, fully kitted out. Kex level 4 has a trophy rack to support these knobs. Bahamut Fury level 4. Plague Champion level 3 has armor of pestilence. Kelly level 3, Force Commander. And he's going to decap. Commander squad bashing gens, or are they just going to decap? They are. Terminators hit the field for Rear Rakar. The ranged variety with power fists and storm bottles already have their assault cannon as well. Suppressing these plague marines who lose a model. They explode when they die, lose another. Heals nearby allies and damages nearby enemies. Here comes the rest of Blackjack stuff. Is he going to retreat these plague marines or what? There we go. Here comes Bahamut Fury and a lightning clawed Chaos Lord. There's that the galaxy burn and a nice blight grenade as well. Is he going to lose another Devastator squad? No, they just get out of there. Real Rakar gives the Terminators a heal and caps the top. Burner bomb and love the Dakar on that blob. Hideously bunched up and they're taking ridiculous damage. Need to retreat the heck out of there. Plague Marines explode, which healed the blob, luckily for them. But they're still taking loads of damage. Lads Cannon taking pot shots here. Are the knobs fully upgraded with knob leader and U jammers? You see these circles going up the knobs. That's their momentum given to them by the hammers. The more circles, the more momentum they have. One, one, two, three, two, three. Battle wagon on the way for Kuchar. Blackjack. Still has these double plague marines. Scout snipers in the garrison are going to need to leave. There we go. And the force commander has some terminators of his own. Has not gone for assault terminators though. Commando is chased off by the war boss who needs an armor upgrade if he wants to hang 
with this amount of damage is going to be forced off it and is Force Commander almost finishing him off with that hammer in fact he does go down Rakkar might just revive him with a heal but he's too busy whacking on the Force Commander puts his Iron Halo up nicely placed looters here covering the VP but the Curse Lord gets into melee and is knocked down by a plasma cannon Was that a destructive strike which missed and the Curse Lord might go down here. Batwagon's firing on him. And does go down to the Terminators in retreat. Batwagon, super unit for orcs, trundles around running over stuff and has a big zap gun as well. Has one unit garrisoned inside, you can tell by the yellow mark there. Needs two for all of its guns to fire. Blue still haven't retaken this wreck point. And a huge engagement brewing in the middle. Tactical Marines again getting wasted by Marco Zink CSM and go down Kelly. Struggling a little bit. Noxious Cloud chasing off Plasma Devastators. Can finish them off if it goes over the garrison but doesn't. Terminators fighting each other with their power fists. Kelly asking for help taking them down. A nice Black Grenade again from Blackjack has used it really well. Blue's surging from the bottom. Batwagon's in a bit of trouble now. And there's a rocks. Nicely done by Grootshot. Loads of stuff dying. Grief. Kex and Bahamut really suffered there. And all of a sudden, blue team are looking thin. Both sides lost a lot in that engagement though. Blackjack lost his heretics. And is going to the top to cap. You don't need all of that stuff to cap pressure their natural with the rest of it because they've been forced off is what he should have done. Bruchar getting some sluggers to repair the battle wagon which is about a quarter or a third of health left. Scouts are trying to repair it but it won't stay still. There we go. Terminate is being reinforced. 150-50 to reinforce them. Plague Marines capping and another turret going up from Blackjack Predator on the way for Kelly bit of a lull in the action as the players regroup another knob squad on the way for Kex his first squad is level 2 now can level again in 3.19 Terminator still cannot level which I think is fine. Terminators are pretty beastly, especially Assault Terminators with those claws. Librarian takes Red's natural under absolutely no pressure. Plasma Cannon set up, covering the center. Predator on the field for Kelly. Hideously painted. 1-1-2-2-10. And Red's taking their natural back. And blue team now pushing the top with the battle wagon, Chaos Lord, Plague Marines, and CSM. I don't think the turret's going to cut it. There's that the galaxy burn on it, and almost wipes it out. There's another black grenade, but the Plague Marines will easily tough it out, I think. Turret goes down, didn't last long, and Plague Marines go to cap. Don't want to get too close to those guys, or the disease will spread. Might be able to hit this power now. Huge engagement in the middle. Advanced healing, healing all this stuff from the apothecary. It's now isolated from the knob though. Can't heal them anymore with it. Knob squad. Use frenzy. Which is the red cloud, but it's worn off and war boss is forced off. Still no war gear for this guy. 106, 203. Chaos Predator on the way for Bahamut Fury. This knob squad very low on health and run away. Still have three members though, two members make that. Blackjack has a great on key one on the way. Predator now weighing in with shots against the Terminators. Nice plasma cannon hit. Apothecary engaging Terminators in melee and doing a pretty good job too. These Terminators already look quite low. 
two battle wagons duking it out with their zap guns. As we're kind of getting shots off as well out, Slugger's trying to repair there. Librarian goes down to the force commander, gets a sink kill. Blackjack now looking very thin. Kill Space Marines and Plague Marines. Rakar has Terminators but has a Land Raider Redeemer on the way. 106, 150, a double for blue. Red team losing points and not recapping them. And look at this, losing this natural power as well. Chaos Lord decaps while double Plague Marines take the generators out, which they do very quickly. Here comes Black Chat to defend, perhaps might be waiting for the Great Unclean One, and here he is. Big demon fell up. Super unit for Chaos fights when they hugely tough. And Bahamut Fury has a nasty surprise. Real Rakar has cancelled that Land Raider and is getting a Librarian. And some more Plasma Devastators, perhaps waiting for the cooldown for Terminators or for more zeal so he can get some more terminators. The enemy is the I think the land raider would do nicely though. Kelly floating tons of resources. Could get a land raider himself. Red team now taking the top. Blue team seem to be stacking on their own natural. Well Kex is in a way. Chaos Predator has Marco Zinch. Twin Link Last Cannon. Doing nice damage to this Terminators. Death Roller for the Battle Wagon taking rear armor hits from these Commandos. Great and Kingdom waddling around. Real Rakar. Terminators are gonna get tied up. Nice force barrier by the Librarian. Great and Clean One is super heavy infantry, so you can damage it with all weapons reasonably well. Plasma and power weapons would be best. And Blues are really pushing towards the north here. Assault Terminators hit the field from Kelly, and more Terminators hit the field from Real Rakar. Assault Terminators with Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields start off with 5,000. 400 hit points and they are getting lightning claws. Their thunder hammers are melee heavy so are better versus vehicles. But now they have their lightning claws which means they lose health since they lost their shields but do insane power melee damage, power melee splash damage even. And these noise marines are getting their blast master. Lightning claw terminators teleporting into these regular terminators and look at the damage they are doing super heavy infantry gets eaten up by power weapons and they have to teleport out apothecary canny cat kelly's assault terminators lose a model and are getting very low marco zinc csm and now a chaos lord on them and he might lose his squad use the teleport to get into those terminators and loses the squad Cannot retreat terminators. Battle wagon goes down. 80, 105, 2 to 1 for blue. Rockets going off. Still. Oh, he has an armor. He has heavy armor, making him very tough. 2,300 hit points. Level 9 war boss. If only he had the weapon upgrade. Bang Bang Hammer would be great, I think. Great and clear one now on the way for Bahamut Fury Blackjack. Lost his, didn't see that. So much stuff going on. Blue team have lost their natural thanks to Mark of Porn CSM who are going to die on retreat. There we go. And the Librarian caps. Real Rock Art finishing strong then with double Terminators. Kelly has a single Terminator squad and that's it, and they only have two models. Kex getting some sluggers to repair his battle wagon. Force commander still level 4. Commander Nob level 5 has his special shooter now. Blackjack, play champion level 5. Apothecary level 7. Warboss level 9. Halfway to level 10. Apothecary dies. Curse Lord level 10. 
and has demonic visage. Very nice accessory since he got changed. Great Imperial hits the field for Bahamut Fury. And there's Imperial Vis on the turret. And the Plague Champion, Plague Champion dies. Turret will also go down. Very focused global. And there's another Imperial Vis. This time from Blackjack. Takes out the Apothecary, does it? No. Terminator finished him off. But these Terminators should be able to tough it out and live. Now engaging this solitary Terminator in melee combat who teleports off. Terminators inspire nearby troops to do more damage whenever they kill anything, much like Dreadnoughts do in melee. 80, 25, double cap for blue, and it's all over. They're going to take the top for a triple. Kelly fell apart, has scouts, and that is it. Great on Kimon, where is he? He's hitting base turrets. Death Roller, too little, too late. Blue team have the triple, and there is the game. All players making loads of mistakes, losing loads of units, but it made for a pretty mental matchup. ATVPs remaining only. Very close game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.